Happy New Year! Welcome to Decided Leave Vanilla in the year 2015. We did it, guys! We made it to the future. So, uh, yeah, this is this is the year that Back to the Future, which, if you've been watching, you should know, uh, is pretty much my favourite film. Um, it's the year that Back to the Future says that we're going to get all the the cool futury stuff. So, uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. We got a few months, I think. I can't remember the exact date. I think it was like. October the 15th or something like that but uh, so we got a little while to develop all the technology yet so uh, I'm very much looking forward to all that happening um, but yeah for 2015 I hope it's going well for you guys um, it's been very nice so far for me I've uh, been enjoying myself and kind of taking it easy a bit but uh, I've also been doing a lot because I don't know like last year I basically was only here when I was recording. I was only on DV when I was recording, so consequently not a lot really got done. I mean, I say that, we, we seem to have got, you know, some buildings and there's a skyscraper and stuff like that, but um, but yeah, we, we're not progressing on the scale by which someone like uh, Clandlewood has, has just kind of exploded on the land and just kind of vomited buildings everywhere. We're not quite progressing at that pace, but um, but yeah, this year has been a bit different so far in the first week or two because uh, although I didn't record a video um, last week, I decided to have a bit of a holiday um, for a week. I did uh, come on the server and do stuff. Um, and I actually played the game, which is is quite unlike me. I don't I I don't tend to actually play a lot. I I've kind of been using Minecraft just as a tool to to make videos basically. Um, but yeah, I, I, I did a bit of uh, work and we've been doing things. So And I've been enjoying it as well, so that's cool. I mean, that's what it's all about, really. So um, so yeah, I'm hoping to kind of keep that up, maybe do some things. I put some windows in the lighthouse. This is, this is the thing. I've done a, f a few things now and I'm not actually sure, A, if I'm going to remember enough of what I've done to tell you guys about it, and uh, B, where to start. I don't know where, where to start showing you. I need to build this path down to the lighthouse but yeah I've put some windows in now um, just made out of fences I thought that looked pretty cool um, they're on on all sides um, so it's pretty much the same whichever side of the building you look at but but that's pretty cool I like that um, and yeah oh yeah let's go over to the farm I've I started a bit of farming because I decided I needed some um, bookshelves because I wanna that they're a pretty cool decorative block and you know they make they make the houses look a bit lived in and so on and so forth but for that you need leather because you gotta make the books and and that kind of stuff so I uh, went out into the uh, the deadly jungle and uh, I found myself a few cows and uh, a couple of sheep well only two cows I bred the third one and two sheep as well um, a, a yellow sheep and a grey sheep Apparently, when you breed them, they create yellow sheep. So I don't know whether that's like a random thing. Um, yeah, and I, I did a bit more logging because I needed some wood, and so uh, there's there's a few kind of random trees popped up around that I will take down at some point. In fact, let's take those down while we are here. Let's get on with that. I don't really need to stick around and wait for the uh, saplings to appear because I got literally a, a whole load of those. Okay, that that reminds me actually. That's, oh, oh dear. I've let one of my cows out. Okay, well, let's get our first bit of leather from you then, shall we? <clears throat> yeah, so that's the next thing I can show you. Um, is that, I think I've got some leather in this thing. I've, I've been working downstairs. I've, I've done a bit of sorting out of my, um, my workshop down here. Um, I don't know if I did this before whether this is a new thing or not but you can now get direct access from uh, outside here that like you can just go through I've made a little gap because I'm pretty much mob proof now so the fences aren't necessary other than for aesthetics so um, so yeah you can now walk straight down here I've replaced the doors with these uh, spruce ones because I think these I just love these doors I'm pretty much going to be using these doors for everything I think um, Although having said that, I've, I've used different ones in a couple of other places now, so I'm getting a bit more varied. But uh, certainly for places like basements and and like village shops and things, I think they look 
they got a nice kind of rustic aesthetic to them so uh, we'll be using them but yeah I've done a bit of organizing I've uh, moved all my chests oh, except uh, this one which I, I have emptied I've moved the stuff but I obviously didn't get around to moving these bits but um, yeah I've moved out of this part because this isn't really part of the house this is uh, like the mine entrance and I don't know this is not underneath the footprint of the house so I thought I'd, I'd try and keep it a bit more compact so I've I've done a bit of organizing well I say organizing they're not actually that organized um, there's just kind of random things in random places uh, like I've got fences over here and wood over here so uh, it's, it's a step up in organization in that I'm not just dumping things in the same chest um, so yeah anyway I've, I've moved all of this in here and um, yeah so we're a little bit more organized now um, I also have been working on the nether portal Ooh, it got dark quick didn't notice that happening um, yeah I've I've decided that I didn't like the way I was using this building and also because of the um, monstrous um, thing statue thing that Logan gave me of himself as a Christmas present um, I decided that I wanted to make a bit of a feature of underground now I had planned to to spread my village across um, to the the empty lands over that side uh, over the other side of the lighthouse there and build a bridge across and kind of continue um, spreading out overground which I may do I may still do but um, I've also been a bit jealous of like uh, Biran and Jefferson space I think it looks really cool having that kind of caved out feel of underground and yeah it's it just looks really awesome so um, hopefully I can do a good job of of kind of st standing up to that um, that kind of level of build making it look right I mean Logan did this bit and he made it look fantastic with all the just kind of random blocks but uh, yeah so I've been mining this out I wanna I wanna create this space a bit bigger so that we can oh you got uh, something on your shoulder there Logan um, oh well. Right, um, so yeah, what was I saying? I want to make this area a bit bigger. Is there anything left in there? No. Let's uh, grab ourselves another chest, use that. So, uh, down in the basement. So, um, yeah, I want to um, make this area a lot bigger so that you can see him properly. Um, but I also want to make use of, of the space. So I've, I've started making this path up through here. Uh, that's a bit I was digging out earlier. I don't know. I mean, I dug that before. Um, before I started doing all this path and stuff so it's kind of connected up but uh, uh, yeah so I've also been working uh, down here and I've moved my portal underneath the porthole oh spider there grab that string you never know when that's gonna come in useful um, yeah I think there's still a few places I haven't lit up properly because they're I'm still getting mobs in here so um, maybe it's these dig outs up here I need to look at but um yeah, so we got this portal. Um, this stuff, I don't know if you saw over on Pix's channel. Um, he, in his first, was it his first episode? Something like that. Um, he established the Democratic Republic of Mushroom. Um, and then immediately started killing his subjects, which were, as it happens, chickens. Um, and Clanderwood pointed this out on um, on Twitter. And there, there was a whole stream the other day of, of just chicken-based puns which was um, absolutely hilarious I mean you know we're, we're just the funniest guys so uh, that that was a, a back and forth that lasted about five hours um, of us making puns based around chickens um, so I, I decided I was going to start this campaign for giving chickens the vote um, to try and stop uh, Pix from his his dastardly plot to eliminate all chickens um, so I, I, I made a load of banners and I took these over to his place and I put up a big thing on the wall saying give chicken the vote um, and it appears that they've come back uh, he obviously didn't like having them on his wall so uh, oh well <laughs> maybe we'll put them back somewhere over there to try and uh, keep pressing on the uh, the campaign but yeah he's done a nice little uh, anagram of, of uh, the signs that I put up so yeah very interesting and he's left his trademark mushroom here just to make sure that I knew it was him um, so yes we'll we'll continue that uh, epic battle of um, of 
chickenness or something uh, at some stage. Um, that's actually obstructing my my walkway there, Pix. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a building in here. I mean, he usually makes these into a little house or something. I'm surprised he hasn't moved in, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so this now leads up into the port hall where, where it used to be, the, the portal used to be. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this wall, extend back, and make it a bit bigger. And then I'm going to put something else in here. I started working on the floor. I'm really happy with this check pattern with the uh, granite. I think that looks cool. But uh, I have no more granite, I've run out, so I need to go find a chunk that was um, uh, generated uh, since whatever 1.7 was it where this came in? I have no idea. I don't know how uh, Minecraft works. So um, Yeah, since, since when these blocks started appearing. So we need to go and find some and uh, mine that up. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a lot bigger. Um, and there's going to be the, these walkways kind of very much in the vein of um, of Biran and Jefferson Space where you can kind of walk around the edge of these these big um, sort of holes. I guess they're kind of like atriums, underground atriums. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do the same over this side. So you're going to have like a thin piece, this thin piece, in between these two large cavern areas. So I'm going to keep digging down here and mine out all of this. Uh, I need to get a beacon set up, I need to fight a wither at some point. Um, but yeah, I've started connecting things up already, like for example you can still, you can already walk around here, you can go down, there's a, a mine that I've been using down there to uh, get resources and stuff. Uh, this is going to lead somewhere at some point, probably go around the other edge of that. Um, but yeah, the staircase already leads up a nice little uh, tunnel up here, which connects up to the rail station which uh, I've also been working on. I've set up a, a little, I've started an arcade, which is kind of a la Swordfish, a little Hobbit Hole style place, um, but this is the RKS Rail Workshop. Um, so when we're, we're doing our, when we've got our hat on for uh, railway engineering um, for the Transport Commission, which is still only consists of uh, me and Clandle at the moment. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Um, yeah, I can, I can go in here and uh, use my duplication system. This is this is the rail production factory here, which um, DDM showed this off in one of his videos. Apparently, I um, I actually went and found a different uh, tutorial on building it. Um, and yeah, so this is kind of one of my the few redstone things I've ever built, and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. I actually built it over in my basement, and then realised that I probably ought to have a a factory specifically for the rail network. Um, there's a zombie around somewhere. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I've set this up and uh, you can take basically any kind of uh, rail and you set the machine going and it makes an awful lot of noise um, like any good factory does. And then you just pop this down here and boom, you get um, oh, can I pick that? There we go. You get two of them and then you put two down and you get even more. There you go. Um, where did that one go? There you go. Three. And you can just basically keep whacking them down and you get loads more as you go, see? And uh, there you go, got up to six already. And you can get a stack in pretty much no time. It's um, a very good system, this. I'm liking this. So I will try and remember to put a link to the uh, tutorial I used uh, in the description so that you guys can do it too if you want. Um, now it's kind of cheating and yeah but it's it's part of the game it's a glitch I haven't done any modding I haven't put any codes in all I've done is built this thing so I'm kind of gonna pretend that it's not a cheat and and go with it it's a it's a production factory you know I mean it works so um, but what I want to know is how on earth people discover these things because what what would actually cause you to put this to build this in this formation like this I mean like yeah how do you accidentally come across this kind of glitch thing it's really weird but anyway I'm glad they did because it saved me an awful lot of work um, and I, I used up all my gold on making those powered rails so uh, yeah I did put those away um, so yeah I, I'm glad that that's happened because I ran out of gold and I really didn't fancy going caving at that point to find some more so uh, 
Oh good, it's daytime again. Um, oh, and there's the zombie. Hey zombie, why are you not burning up? Oh well, he's gone there. Um, but yeah, I've also been working on the railway. Um, so I've put in the, these uh, arrival and departure points. So you've got a dead rail that uh, will stop you when you come in and it will also give you a boost when you hit the button on your way out. So uh, let's let's take a little ride and you can experience the uh, the journey that I've, I've made to spawn. Um, yeah, two rails, one in, one out. I'm going to colour code these at some point. And I think the idea is hopefully we're going to make these loop around everyone's base. But for now, just sit back and enjoy the lovely scenery around Royal Canington Spa. And uh, so here we are, back at spawn. And uh, I think you'll agree that that was quite a splendid journey. See, I, I don't, I don't want to pay for my ticket. It seems like, oh, crikey, uh, this is not good. This is not good. It's not good. Don't blow up. Don't blow. Oh, that was close. Blimey, typical, you know, kind of one of Clanderwood and my builds is that. Uh, it's plagued. Oh, not another one. No, don't, don't, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Please don't blow up. There we go. Crikey, it's, it's absolutely plagued with mobs. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to sort that out at some point. I don't know quite where where they're kind of hiding out, but uh, we'll have to do something at some point about that. Um, yeah, so I don't know how far Clounderwood's got with his. He's Oh yeah, he's put some powered rail in now. Like, maybe let's take a trip uh, to Trevor, see how how that goes. He's, gosh, I think he he saw that I'd been working on it, so uh, he's had to do the same. So let's see how we go. Oh, wow, this is a bit. Uh, yeah, you might need another couple of uh, powered rails there, Clandor. That's not gone well. Here we go. Right. And off we go to Trevor. Lovely. There's a bridge over there. That one, I think that one goes off to Ovi's base, doesn't it? Uh, oh, page, page almost ouched a pig man. Ouched? Oh, punched. Jeez, you're going to need to sort this out, Clandor. You're not really uh, accelerating very well at the moment. Ah, there we go. She's correctly to punched. Gosh, I didn't realise that Trevor was quite so far away. It doesn't feel that far. Wow, this is this is slow. By the way, Clandall, you've used up a ton of redstone on these torches. Um, you should use levers like I did. Gosh, this is slow. Yeah, I might go back the other way now. <laughs> Try and get back. Um, but yeah, so we need to do a bit of work on the railways, get them working efficiently, uh, and extend them all to other people's bases. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I have to show you for today. So, um... I might just leave it there. Is there anything else I've done? I don't think so. I repaired the um, I repaired the the floor and the wall, the big the big hole that was in uh, the post office, and uh, so that's all good again now. Go on, here we go. <coughs> Maybe he's only tested this one direction. Perhaps it works perfectly. Oh. <laughs> I say that as it stops working. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to walk the rest of the way because that's a bit uh, laborious. So uh, let's go to it. I'm going to go check out the um, the iron farm, see if there's anything there for me. Um, and in the meantime, I will uh, 
say goodbye to you guys and uh, see you next time when I've done maybe a bit more work on the uh, on the railway system. Hopefully we'll start connecting out to other people and um, yeah, make it a bit more interesting. We might be putting some stuff along the path of the rails for you to look at to enjoy your journey. And uh, oh, yeah, there's a good amount of iron in there. I will help myself to that. Thank you very much uh, to Jefferson for donating so much to us. <coughs> He's done a very good job with that. And I think we've pretty much all been taking advantage of it. So uh, that's cool. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys next time on Zadalivanilla.